Welcome to another session from LearnHowToReason.com. My name is Matt, and in this session, I want to go over how to use the Avid 11 Rack in Reason. It's really a, an awesome guitar amp effect simulator, and it's a full-blown audio interface. So what I'm going to do is, you know, turn on my 11 Rack, and I'm going to go here to Preferences. I'm going to go to Audio. And of course, I'm going to select the Avid 11 rack. And what I want to show you here is, is, is your active output channels. You want to have three and four selected and um, because they're the reamp output channels. And then we'll go up here and we'll press Command or Control T and make two tracks. And our first track, let's go there. Our first track is going to be input one and you can see from this you know in reason that doesn't show all the the names of everything so I made up this uh, picture here and you can see that input one is the guitar input on the front of the 11 rack and that's going to be our dry signal and then you can see that three is the 11 rack it's out you know that's your that's going to be your affected sound and that's the left mono and if you want to do stereo it would be you know um if we wanted to go stereo with this we would select three and four so we're just going to select uh the left uh, input of the 11 rack so we get the affected sound and i'm going to turn off the monitoring here because i don't want to hear the dry track so let me grab my guitar and they'll give you a, give you a sample of what the uh, the 11 rack sounds like. The 11 rack really has a pretty good sound. I I, I really like it. So let's record this. And we're, I'll show you, you get a, a, we'll get a dry track and an affected track, and then we'll reamp the dry track, and I'll show you how to do that. So just press record. Okay, so we got a little recording here. So now let's listen to each one. We have our dry channel right here. Here we go. And then we have our affected channel. So now what I want to do is I want to reamp this dry channel here. We should name it dry. And um, I want to send this back out to the 11 rack and reamp the sound. And I can add different tracks just off this dry channel. I can have different sounds however I want to do it. And I can affect it in the 11 rack. So let me show you how to do that. First, we have to go into the 11 rack and switch its input. So let's do that. Okay, the first thing you're going to have to do on the 11 rack to set it up so you can reamp what you record is you need to go to your 11 rack. You go right up here to the edit back button and hold it. And you'll see that it changes to the user options and where you can scroll here with the scroll and where you want to be is rig input and then you press the sw1 button and then you go right down to the knob here you'll see it's lit and you want to choose reamp 
and then just hit your edit back button again and again and you're done it's that easy you got to set up the 11 rack so it's in the the input mode is in reamp okay so now the 11 rack set for reamping let's let's go to the rack view press f6 and we'll go up here into the the audio interface and we're going to tab and turn it around and we're going to go down to our dry channel right here and we're going to take the direct out of this and we're going to go right up here to the three and four outputs this this takes the dry this sends the dry channel signal out to the 11 rack and then oh, let's go back here let's create another track command or control t okay so now what we're going to do is go here and we're going to select let's select a stereo input we're going to select three and four and you can see in the picture that the outputs for reamp are three and four so let's uh send it out and it will come back on this track and we can listen to it so if i want to i can change the sound in the um in the 11 rack and let's just um show you i'm going to scroll through different sounds as, as this is playing so I can change this dry signal send it out to the 11 rack and then record it um, on a new track uh, new track here in reason I can have it stereo or mono and it's it's that easy so I hope this helps you out. Um, you can use the 11 rack in Reason and you can use its awesome presets or make your own. It's a great audio interface and, and it's a really top, top notch uh, guitar bass effects processor. It really is. And for those people out there who are wondering about it, I hope it helps you out. And if those people who never even knew about it, maybe um, you might want to look into it. It's an option. So. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. You guys take care.